Moving on to the last part of this series, I'm going to talk about the options available under the Operation drop-down. I have a simple rectangular extrude here and a sketch of a circle at an offset distance away. If I start an extrude of the circle and choose this surface of the cuboid as the extent, you can see that the preview turns red and the operation turns into a cut. Whenever you drag an extrude in a way that intersects with another existing body, Fusion 360 would anticipate that the user is trying to make a cut. If you click OK, this is the result that you will get. Going back into the feature, if you choose Join, this merges a newly extruded cylinder into the existing cuboid. When we click OK, you can see that the resultant model is still one single body. If you need the cylinder to remain as a separate body by itself, you need to go back into the feature and select a new body as the option. If you click OK, you will see two bodies in the Bodies folder. Going back into the feature again and choosing Intersect, this allows you to create solids based on the overlapping volume between the current extrude and an existing body. If you hit OK, you can see that the resultant body is made from the overlapping volume and the excess material has been removed. Going to the last option, you can choose to perform an extrude to produce a new component. Upon doing this, the new extrude becomes a new component. And you can see that the part becomes an assembly.